Yo, what is up guys? Fred at Eastgate Unity here, back at you with another video. Today we're gonna do a five easy dance steps for beginners. Let's get right into it. All right, so first things first, helmet. Helmet's a must. Sometimes you fall off the board and you're gonna fall unexpectedly and sometimes you can hit your head. So definitely wear a helmet. If you wanna wear other elbow pads, knee pads, that's on you, that's great. Definitely protect yourself. I prefer street wheels. So using street wheels gives you a lower center of gravity. So your balance is better. Also, you have better free roll. Because when you do these dance moves and you let go of the throttle when you're entering into the steps, if you're using all terrain, there's a lot more friction and you don't get the free roll. So you definitely want free roll and you have that lower center of gravity. Also, loosen up your trucks, softer bushings. It'll give you more pivoting and that'll help you out when you are entering into a dance move. Speed is not our friend here. This is not a speed test, this is not a speed exercise, so forget about speed. Speed is not important at all. Also, find yourself a nice open parking lot. No one's gonna bother you, nice and smooth. No real big imperfections. When, you, uh, when you're messing up, you could just kind of run it off easy and there's nothing in the way, no big cracks, no uh, potholes or anything like that. A couple more tips before we get started using a wider deck board. If you have something like the Backfire Zealot, X-Way Flex, the Meepo Voyager, those kind of boards are great boards, but they're not exactly great for dancing because they're more narrow street boards. Having a two-in-one board like a Meepo Hurricane, Evolve GTR, Lycon TRX, all those kind of two-in-one boards, those are a little bit better for dancing because the platform is a little bit wider. And one more thing, it's always better to practice riding switch. So if I'm goofy, I want to ride regular, it just helps out your balance a lot more. So again, if you're goofy like me, riding switch definitely will help out your all around balance before you get started. So if you wanna practice riding switch first, that'll give you a very big advantage. Okay, so first we're gonna go over the ghost ride. The ghost ride is actually quite simple and I think it's a lot of fun and it looks cool. So if you are goofy like me, this is the way you would normally kick push. If you are regular, you would kick push like this. So let me show you what Goofy looks like because I am Goofy. So I'm gonna kick push. I'm gonna have my foot up here. I'm gonna swing it this way and then back on like that. So I'm gonna have my foot in the center kind of more forward, okay? Again, place my foot here. I'm gonna swing over. So I'm gonna place my front foot over. That. Okay, so I'm gonna place my front foot up, swing over, and that's the ghost. Okay, one more time. I don't go too fast. Have my foot in the center, kind of more forward. Okay, and I'm gonna take my left foot, I'm gonna swing it, I'm gonna hop back on. Again, place my foot here. Place my front foot over, swing over, like that. Foot up, swing over. Okay, so the next is cross step. So I'm goofy, oh, this is my stance. I'm gonna go down here as much as I can basically go. All right, and I'm gonna cross over here, and then I'm gonna finish it up like that. So practice on your board here, but keep your foot on an angle. Don't have it like this. So again, down, but a little bit angled, cross over, again a little angled, then complete it like that. So now you can start practicing and riding like this. So once you get this movement, maybe keep on practicing this movement, and then we'll enter into it moving after. So down, angled, over, and that is the cross step. So here we are moving, down, over, Oh, okay, so down, over, like that. So now, once you practice that a little bit, you're gonna enter into a pre-carve and you're gonna do it during a carve. This is harder, but with some practice and finesse, you will get it, okay? So let me show you what I'm talking about, okay? I'm gonna carve this way. I'm gonna enter into it, over, like that. Pre-carve, over here, down, over, a pre-carve, this way. Okay, 
carve this way. I'm going to go down here as much as I can basically go. All right, I'm going to cross over here and then I'm going to finish it up like that. Again, down, but a little bit angled. Cross over, again, a little angled. Then complete it like that. So once you get this movement, maybe keep on practicing this movement. All right, and then we'll enter into it moving after. So down, angled, over, and that is the cross step. So here we are moving, down, over, oh. So just in case you guys wanted to slow down the footage yourself, there's a little icon on the top right hand corner with the little gear button. That's the settings. So once you click into the settings, you will see on the bottom playback speed and it's at normal. Once you click that, you have a few different options to slow down the video. Okay, so the next is 180 step. Now the 180 step is fantastic because you can keep on doing it over and over again and it looks cool. And it also allows you to engage other moves. I'm gonna place half my foot on the edge of the deck here. Okay, half of it. So again, I'm gonna start my stance. I'm gonna enter half my foot on the edge of the deck. I'm gonna turn my hips over and bring this leg over. Okay, and then continue and put my back foot there. Now I'm gonna do the same thing with this foot. So I'm, I'm facing now regular, so this is switch. So put this foot on the edge of, of half of my foot. Okay, over, swing over, back here. So again, half of the deck, swing over, complete it, put your foot back over here. Bring this leg over, half your foot, swing over, there. So, fast motion. So you can keep on doing that and get a feel for this. Whether you're regular or goofy, you have to be able to step this way to here. Half my foot off the deck, here. Okay, so again, facing forward, put half my foot at the edge of the deck. Okay, I'm gonna take my other foot, bring it over, put it back to normal. So again, here, here. Half my foot over, here, here. Okay, so get a feel of that on your board without moving, maybe sit on the grass. I'm locking in my brake now. So with the Meepo, you can just kind of yank it and it won't move, which is great. Some boards don't do that. Here, 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 here. So just like the other moves, you can do it while riding in a straight line, or once you get a little bit better with it, you can ride it during a carve. So let's see how it looks during moving. Come over here, foot on the edge, over here. Foot in the edge, over here. Foot on the edge, over here. Foot on the edge, over here. So you wanna pretty go kind of low too, just not too low with this foot on the edge of the deck. Okay? Now we're gonna do it during a carve which again, when you do during a carve, it's a little harder. But when you maneuver the actual carve within the dance move, it looks fantastic. So I'm gonna carve here, here, carve here. And then that's what happens when you run it off. I'm glad that happened. It's simple, you're not going fast. Speed is not our friend right now. So if you mess up, you just run it right off. No problem. So I'm gonna do a nice pre-carve, not too fast, not too slow. Anytime you lean your other foot on the, on the sides, it'll make you carve, you see? It'll make you carve. But well, I'm better at this side than this side. So I'm clearly not great, but I'm practicing. I am not an expert with this whatsoever. Free carve, foot down, over. Woo, foot down, I don't wanna hit Max's board. Free carve. Free carve foot on the side. See, I'm not that good at that side, so. Free carve, place my foot down here. Okay, now, Peter Pan, my personal favorite. Peter Pan is kind of like the 180 step, but we don't turn, okay? So it's not a 180 step, but we put our feet kind of in those same places. So we're gonna do this at the end of the half of the deck and swing right over. 
swing right over. Now, the more you swing this exaggerated swing, the smoother it'll look. Let's just do some practices. Half my foot off the deck, swing over, my other foot off the deck. Okay, if you lose balance, you just jump right off. Again, let's just keep on doing this. Have your muscles get familiar with this balance. And you want to go kind of as far back as possible because there's only so much room. So again, I'm going to start back and half my foot off the deck. Swing. Swing. Again, you're keeping half of your foot off the deck. Okay? So keep on practicing this and your muscle memory will get better at it. So now we're going to do one moving and then we're going to do during the carve. Not going fast. Here, 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 here. And just hop back over. So this is why I want you to learn switch because you kind of get stuck and you can't get back and you might have to stay in a regular stance or you're goofy. So if you might, you might have to switch to a stance that you're not familiar with. That's why it's good to learn actual switch on regular speed low off my off the deck half off the deck okay sometimes i get a little stuck here but pull out free carve plant my foot over Ooh. Ooh. see and you just run it off okay so now we're going to do it with a pre-carve so i'm going to enter into a pre-carve plant my foot down over over. You see how it carves itself? Then you can kick push if you kind of fall off. Make it look a little smoother. So pre-carve this way. Here. Here. <laughs> Enter into a pre-carve. Here. Okay. So I want to do a slow pre-carve. Put my foot down here. Over over now i'm in regular stance which is not my normal thing but i practice enough that i know kind of basics heel toe heel toe it's always good to learn actual regular or goofy whichever one you are not so like i said it's always good to practice that or you can kind of do it fast on the move they both look pretty cool it's up to you let me show you what the fast looks like so pre-carve down 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 do it again. I want to turn 180 step. Sometimes I do a 180 step because I'm actually losing my balance. So it's a lot better to just kind of regroup with the 180 step. And then I'm going to go back over 180 step, 180 step. All right. So now we're going to show you the skier, which is the easiest way. And it's pretty cool, but you can't go really fast or else you'll fall. So please be careful. So all skier is, is putting kind of your foot on the edges and enjoying the ride and enjoying the carve while you ride. Now with all dance moves, I want you to kind of put your arms up because that helps you out with balance. When you have your arms up, pretty much any balance activity, dancing, you're walking on a rope, you're gonna need your hands going out. Watch any longboard dancer, they're putting their arms up and they're just helping out with their balance. That's what I forgot to mention. Okay, so the skier, you just wanna feel it out, know your trucks, know the maneuverability under your feet and get do this for a little while get a little practice going on and understand the balance between the edges of the deck because when we're riding our feet are in the center of the deck not exactly the edges so again you want to kind of do this a little bit make sure your trucks are pretty loose again do not go fast fast is not our friend when it comes to dancing so let me show you what the skier looks like in motion Mix it up, go down, over, here, mini step. Free carve. And then for fun, put your foot to the deck. Go over like this. This is just fun. Good for your balance. 
Thank you for watching, guys. Hope we helped you out here. Please comment, like, share, subscribe. Have a good one, guys.